today we're back with another Final Cut Pro tutorial and today we are going to be doing the clone freeze frame effect. Now this is a really awesome effect that you guys just saw. This is so cool to just maybe like add sort of like a new level to your video just to take it from like, just take it up to the next level. It's a really cool effect to do. It takes a little bit of time to make, it takes a few minutes. So I wouldn't do it loads in your video, just do it a couple times, but just having it a couple times in your edit just makes it look so awesome. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. So um, I've got my clip here that I want to use. And uh, now basically for the best, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this clip here where I jump across the screen. Now for the best freeze frame possible, I would have my camera on a tripod. So my camera would be completely still and then I would move across the screen. But I couldn't find any videos that I've got of like an action thing where my camera was on a tripod. So this is the stillest video I found where my camera is only moving slightly. So if you had your camera on a tripod, it would look a whole lot better. But that's how our uh, video looks. So I'm gonna just trim this to where I come in. So I come in there, so I'm gonna cut my video there. Command B, cut that. I'm gonna delete that. And now I am just left, I'm gonna just make it a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. And now I am just left with that. Now I'm also gonna cut that there because that's where the video ends. Okay, so I'm just left with this little section here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and drag the video on top. Okay, so that video is now on top. So every single time I wanna freeze frame it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it there. So I think my first freeze frame is gonna be, let's go there, that will be my first one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click Alt F, which is create new freeze frame. So Alt F that, and then there I have a freeze frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the other half of the video, and I'm gonna delete the before half of the video, but this bit is important because my videos are connected. If I delete this before half now, then the freeze frame will go back, but I don't want that. If you see this video dragged back, what I wanna do is I wanna just disconnect this video, so I just drag it slightly there, and now I can delete this. And this video starts where I jump there. If I play the video now, I freeze frame there. But obviously, because we've got all of this video here on top, you can't see the rest of me jump. I'm just gonna trim that down to there. So to get that effect, what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna add a mask. So we're gonna go into our effects up here. And we're going to search for mask. I'm gonna click on draw mask, and I'm gonna slide that onto this top video here. And now I'm just gonna click the view so I get a bit more, and I'm gonna click like 25% wrong completely. Let's go 100%. There, that's what I want. Um, so I'm gonna get that in the center there. So now I'm going to draw a mask around myself. So I'm gonna click the mask point here and every time I click my mouse, it will mask a new point. So I'm just gonna very simply mask around myself. All this is basically doing is just gonna cut me out. Okay, so now I've masked myself out, and as soon as I masked myself out, you saw the bottom video appear underneath. So uh, I'm gonna go and click uh, fit again so we can see the whole screen. Um, now, if we go back to where this video started, that's where the mask starts, and that's where it's bang on. And then if we play this video, I continue while my freeze frame stays there. And all you need to do now is just do this for all of the rest of the freeze frames you want. So we need to decide where our next video mark is gonna be. I'm gonna go back a little bit, go our next mark is gonna be there. So what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, hold down Alt again and duplicate this video. And then we are going to just drag this one over that one, just so it keeps them clearer so we know which one's which. And then because that's where we want it, our new freeze frame to be, we're going to click Alt F to create a new freeze frame. We're going to delete this half make sure to drag this up to make sure it's disconnected. There we go. If basically, if you know your, dis your video is disconnected, if you see this little gray bar on top, if that gray bar is across the whole thing, that means they're connected, but if you just drag it up and disconnect them, then you see there's a gray bar on that, but there's no gray bar on this. So I'm now gonna get rid of that one. And then same again, we're gonna mask out this top video here. So same again, I'm going to draw mask and drag that over there. And then I'm going to just zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. That was way too much. So I can see what I'm doing slightly better. Oh, there we go. And as I did before, I'm gonna go ahead and outline myself. 
Okay, so there I've outlined myself again. Now if we zoom out, there you'll see we have uh, both the outlines. So now we go back and play the whole video. Again, I'm just going to quickly just drag that so it lines up there. Okay, so let's go back and play the whole video. There, so you see that's both outlines. Now I'm going to go and do the third outline now. So again, find where I want it to be. Let's go one more. Let's go three outlines. Just be very simple. You could do as many outlines as you want, but I'm just going to keep this simple for today and just do three. So again, hold down Alt, drag that up. Just going to drag this on top now so it's simpler for me to find. And then come uh, Alt F to create the freeze frame, delete that, make sure that's disconnected, delete that, and go ahead and outline myself again. Okay, and that is the last one outlined. So I'm again going to go and drag that back there. So if we watch the whole thing back, one, two, three, awesome, and it looks pretty cool. Um, and if you're feeling really fancy, you can go ahead and add sort of like camera uh, camera sound effects whenever the freeze frame starts. So why don't we just go and do that quickly. So go on uh, sound effects, click, or search, not click, search camera shutter. Let's listen to this. It's not that very nice. Okay, well none of them are any nice, but we'll just go with camera two for now. Uh, obviously you can find far nicer ones online. So I'm just going to drag camera 2 down and that, I'm just going to trim it there because I know that's exactly where it starts and place that over our first one and then hold down Alt and duplicate it again and drag it to our second one, hold down Alt, duplicate it again, drag it to our third one. So now all in all it looks like this. Awesome, and that is it done. Uh, obviously you can make it way more technical, you can add different sound effects, you can obviously add way more different freeze frames, but that is an awesome effect you can add to your video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to hit that like button down below, and subscribe if you're new and haven't subscribed already. I make loads of Final Cut Pro tutorials, got loads on everything, so go and have a look at my tutorials on my channel, and subscribe if you want to see some future tutorials. Leave a comment down below what other tutorials you'd like to see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.